Okay, you landed here for one reason, that one reason only, it's because your water smells bad, or you got orange staining, or you got bronze staining, or you got gray staining, you got rotten egg smell, or you got coliform, God forbid, 15 to 20 percent of all wells have coliform in it. If you live by a lake or a river, the geese waste gets into that lake or river and that easily can get into the water supply. So if you're looking for a way to get rid of that, to give your family safer water, you've landed on the right video. This is about what chlorine injection of the Pure Clear system will do for you. Now, there's different versions. You can see the different versions behind us. We have the 70s, 80s version, the 90s, early 2000 versions behind me, and then the 2020 version that we have here. This is 2023. So there is a huge difference between those. If you'd like to learn more about that, we did a, do a comparison on a prior video. Check us out on that chlorine comparison for you, 2023. Understanding what chlorinators would do, this is important because you're on this video because you're probably complaining about smells, bacteria. Um, God forbid you're well tested positive for coliform bacteria. Um, so you are looking to find the solution for your family. So a chlorinator is following the guidelines of what the state requires, the Department of Health requires all cities to follow. All cities in the United States are required to add chlorine to the water. There's two reasons for that. One is it makes the water more healthy because there's bacteria-driven contaminants. And then two, it also uh, makes the water aesthetically more pleasing. And of course, if you're paying the city for water, it should be kind of pleasing, right? You shouldn't be complaining about it. So those are two reasons why cities add chlorine or chloramine to the water. Now, the reason for that uh, being added to the water, let's go way back. And that was the, the concept of this was evolved from Chicago. Actually, the late 1800s, we had an epidemic in Chicago. That's where the coliform entered the drinking water system. And the reason why that happened is because we had heavy rainfall, sewage from the city of Chicago went out into Lake Michigan. They drew that same water back into the city, sent it to everybody's homes, and infants, elderly, people who were, uh, their health was, uh, was uh, already uh, compromised, those people died. And they don't have a good accurate about how many people died, but it was a huge epidemic. So that was the cause that people started inventing concepts of how to get rid of this bacteria. And what came out was injecting just a little bit of chlorine in order to kill bacteria. Again, like I said a few minutes ago, about 25 or 15 to 25 percent of all wells get coliform bacteria in the water. So that said, if you have that, this is a great solution for you because this will kill the coliform bacteria and make your water more healthy. Remember, when we're looking at wells, we look at two families of contaminants. There's bacterial-driven contaminants, and then there's uh, chemical or toxins that could be in the water. That's like fertilizers, pesticides, you know, industry waste. We're not going to talk about that here today. We're going to look at the bacteria-driven contaminants. So there's the scary one like E. coli, but there's also iron bacteria and sulfur bacteria. That's a bacteria that feeds on either iron or sulfur. Sulfur is black in color, typically, and iron is typically red or orange or yellow in color. So the way we define that is if you go to the toilet and you lift the back lid off the toilet and you flush it and you feel the side or the rim or the wall of the inside of the toilet and it feels slimy and you can actually get a, uh, like a slimy goo off of that, that's iron or sulfur bacteria. The orange color is iron, the black color is sulfur. If you have that, unfortunately, um, you can uh, try to use chlorinate the well on a regular basis, but we see that it comes right back and something like that. So the permanent fix is chlorine injection. That's where you inject the chlorine, you mix it in a contact tank, and then you take the chlorine back out. This again follows state guidelines that cities are around the country are required to use, and it works extremely well because we make the water more healthy, and we also oxidize the iron and, the, and or the sulfur out of the water. So if that's something that you're looking for, contact us. We're here to serve you. We're here to answer any questions that you might have about chlorine injection. The Pure Clear system is one of the best on the market because it's computerized, it's accurate dosing of chlorine, and it's got the latest, greatest technology in order to mix that chlorine so that you have the fewest service calls. Um, we look forward to serving you and your family. If there's anything we can do, I'm Drew with Angel Water.